Today's topic, name your former self. Hi, I'm Doug Holt with author of Your Own Story, and this is your daily growth hack, where each day we give you a tip, trick, or insight to help you up-level what we call the five to thrive. That is your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and your business. I just got off a client call with a client of mine in the UK, and we were talking about 2017 versus where we started from, which was actually at the beginning February of 2017, to where he is today, and where he is today in all areas of his life, not just his business, although that's originally why he hired me. So when we were talking, one of the things he said is, Doug, I am just a totally different man. I show up as a totally different husband, a totally different father, a totally different friend and, and, and person of my community, a totally different businessman and a leader with inside my own company. I've taken the reins and controlled them. In fact, when I look back at my journals and my writings when we first started, I'm just a different person altogether. Now, I think that's amazing, and hopefully all of us are different people, right? We've all grown, grown in a positive way. Life has thrown things at us, and we've taken them in stride. What I asked him to do, or I suggested he do, is something that I, I just recommend you try on in this instance. Try on actually naming your former self. If you feel you've made a big transition in life, name the former you, right? So in this case, the 2017 version of him, and you can do the same thing, right? So he picked a funny name, right? He picked a name that really made sense to him. He called it Wiley. And the reason he called it Wiley, the former him, is because he felt like he was all over the place, spinning his wheels constantly and not getting anywhere. Yeah, he had the tools, the education. He had an MBA from a very renowned school. He was known in his community to be a very staunch business person. But underneath it all, Wiley, his 2017 former self, was out of control, was drinking excessively, was doing drugs just to numb kind of the pain in his life and the holes he was trying to fill. His business was, was moving forward, but not at the capacity that he could actually serve it at. His relationships, his relationships were hollow. He lost contacts with most of his friends. Does this sound familiar to some of you? He also was having what he felt like, he said, and he, what his words were, I was sleeping next to my wife, yet we were miles apart from each other. How many of us have had that experience, whether it be one night or months, or if like Wiley, it actually was six months for him till he was actually able to turn that around and reignite passion into his life. So what I had Wiley of 2017 do is I had him rename his current self and he decided to call it his name 2.0, right? So the new version of himself and I won't give his name out, but you get the idea. Now take this a step further. What I'd like you to do is rename yourself, your 2017 former self, give it a name, give it a funny name, whatever you want to do. You can call it Doug 1.0 or, or whatever you want. And then name yourself today, you know, Doug 2.0, for example, but you can call it anything. I've had clients call themselves King, Thor, uh, all kinds of names, very creative depending on, on who they were and their own personalities as they, as they really came out. Now, also, what you want to do is look back and when you're doing, excuse me, not even look back, but when you're doing actions today, when you're faced with a drama or a um, or something that's coming up, maybe you have anxiety going through, ask yourself, is this Wiley or Doug 2.0? And who actually should be taking the reins here? Now, if you're in a conflict, let's say you're in a business situation and um, the pressure is high and you've got deadlines to meet, you start to get stressed and you maybe you're snapping on your team, you're on, you know, you're on chat, you're on the phone, you're sending text messages and it's just stressful. It's a stressful situation. I want you to do is take a quick pause and say, who am I being right now? In my power, am I being Wiley or am I being Doug 2.0? And then that clarity right there gives you the option of fo following the Doug 2.0 method, which is actually, hey, let's clear, let's take a couple deep breaths, maybe meditate for five minutes and just really clear yourself and know what is important. What's my 80-20 here? Where can I actually move the needle the most with just putting 20% of the efforts in? This gives you the power, the power to drive yourself towards the author of your own story. Now, I use this with my clients. and We do a much deeper dive, of course, on this, but this short, simple tip can really affect and help you move. So what I'm going to ask you to do as your own coach is grab your journal and write out 2017. How would you name yourself? What would you give yourself? 
the former you. Yeah, you've changed. and Maybe you feel like you're in the same place and I understand, I've been there for too. But you've had life experiences. You've had things happen to you and for you throughout the 2017 year. So let's name that former you and let's move forward. And what do you want? What do you want to call you today? Is that a hero that you've seen in a movie or read about? Is it a comic? Is it just your name 2.0? What is it for you? Make it easy, but make it something that's inspiring. That way you can ask yourself throughout this year and throughout today, who are you being in this exact moment? This gives you control. You know, just like an actor or somebody, if I, if I tell you to stand up straight, put up your chest, take nice deep diaphragmic breath, you get more power, confidence, and energy just by doing that physiological change. Conversely, if you get scrumped shoulders, you know, shallow breathing, you can get depressed quickly. We don't want that. We want the shoulders back confident you. And that is the same thing you can do in the psychology and physiology by naming this former you to the current or future you and living like that person. If you start to act or be like that person, that's what you put out into the world and that's who you become. It's just repetitive. It's just the way it works. It's the new you, right? So I invite you to do this. Grab your journal, write, name the 2017 version of you, name the 2018 or present day version of you and the person that you're going to become. And then ask yourself throughout the day, who are you acting more like? And then you can have the opportunity to choose the path that better suits you. That's it for me today. If you like conversations like this and you wanna go deeper, make sure you get over to the author of your own story, uh, university page, and make sure you get on that wait list. It is epic growth. Uh, and that's what I want for you. My, my mantra for 2018 is epic growth and adventure. And I want you to come on that journey with me and I wanna be on the journey with you. Also, share this with at least three people three people that you know want to have this conversation. And just by you sharing this with them, you're giving them a little gift. You're saying, hey, I heard this and you know this guy was talking, this crazy guy, and he suggested, yeah, there might be something interested for you. This will actually spur greater conversations within you and your world. And that's what I want for you. Constant, continual growth. Whether you're in the author of your own story, University, or you're just in our private Facebook group, or simply just listening to these and doing the work. And I really hope you're doing the work because that's how the magic happens. That's the ingredient, right? That's the secret sauce. You know, you don't bake a cake by putting flour in the oven first and then taking it out and mixing the eggs. No, there's a recipe. And I wanna give you the recipe that I've learned over decades with mentors and coaches through the author of Your Own Story University. Also, go out and just inspire someone by being yourself. Be your 2.0 today and I guarantee people around you will notice and will inspire them and give them the freedom to step into their own power. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed today's daily growth hacks. Please put your comments right down below and remember to click subscribe. This way we can ensure that we're delivering these daily growth hacks right to you each and every day. On behalf of the whole team here, remember, go out and be the author of your own story.